What's up, ladies and Jesus? This is D1 Snipes, and we're back at Slums, but this is captured the flag time. Um, <clears throat> as far as defense goes, earlier today we uh, talked about our uh, secondary AI player. This is going to be our main defender. He's going to set up shop, check in Blue Street, and he's also watching back, uh, back alleyway. Now for uh, this, the goal of uh, capping on this map, for this side anyway, is going to be to push hard blue. Like, that's our main goal. We want to keep their spawns um, back, uh, back cafe. That's where we want their spawns. Now, the reason that we're giving them an opening to our flag is because we're going to have great coverage over there. And you'll see why here in a second. So, we've got our defender back here he's the first line of defense as far as uh, getting kills right here picking up doubles on subs you know that sort of thing so we want both subs to rush hard blue this is their main goal um, we're gonna have our AR guy our main AR guy our better player he's gonna watch middle this is his main goal now it's extremely important off the break since we're pushing middle and blue with the two subs that well the a this AR is not pushing he is checking middle this is his main objective right here is to watch middle and to be the cutoff for poles blue side <coughs> the main objective of this player is to control middle now he doesn't have to pop out here and get kills because if he does it's going to lead to a huge uh, hole in our defense he is a huge part of our offense and our defense so he's picking up kills here. That's his main job, is to cover the advance of the subs. So he wants to keep people off of them from this side. Um, he's also going to be right here for defense. So as soon as the subs, if they don't hear anybody, if they don't see anybody, if they don't get any push from blue, they're going to call it out. That's their main objective, is to call out whether, how many are on them. And this guy's job is to calculate and uh, make this decision on the fly. Okay, I just went one down tires, and they saw one job here. That means two of them are pushing great, or pushing uh, brickside. So he comes here instantly, and he lets the defender know. He's like, two are going to be coming back alley or drop. So he's got the opportunity, while those other guys are spawning, to come in here and flank, uh, clean up the kills, and then pop them right back out to be defense and to cover middle on a flag cap to the uh, blue side. Now say, <coughs> alright let's go to the sub. Push in close. Both these subs, we want our slayer sub right here. This is where it needs to be. Take it off guys, blanket them, you know, be wherever he needs to be in order to get, you know, he's just covering. The objective guy. The objective guy, this is important. Enemy flag acquired. If he goes middle, this possibly forces a spawn. They will force their spawn up here, or they'll spawn uh, back blue with this guy being up top, or on blue stairs. Now that equals death for the, both of these guys, as the middle player is not going to have enough time to get up here if you get killed right here or you're even out in the middle. So he has to pull blue sides. He's got to be right here and be right back. So that's the, the quickest amount of time that he can get right here is just to pull and then straight back. And he's going to say, I've got it, I've got it, I'm blue, I'm blue. And he's going to come straight here and he's got to help middle because they're going to try and get kills right here and pick him up. This is important because they're going to try tossing nades in blue, whatever they got middle. And we're leaving middle open because we're uh, we're going to be good defensively as far as covering brick side. But the subs have got to push blue hard. They've got to keep the enemy on their heels right here. And if we get pushed back, we have this AR player to help the subs get up to blue. That's our main goal is we want that defensive player to be able to help on offense. So say we, we come back blue, we force their spawns... Uh, Cafe. So we're running here now. As we pass the graveyard, if this guy, if this AR player is good, if he's going to uh, 
like if they've passed this point and there's no cutoffs right here he's got to stay home because this they remember they've got to go all the way around this building and this is just a short cut away of getting us killed and another guy in uh, the garage picking up the flag so he's got to stay home all the way to the cat and then the other sub since this AR is picking up the flag carrier this sub can cut through here the backup sub the slayer sub he is going to come garage side so he's going to help out here you have this AR player watching uh, graveyard and then you have this AR player the defender sliding over to the anchor spot to cover a uh, garage or back alley or whatever so we've got all the cutoffs and he's got a good view of behind if somebody chases them all the way there um, I think this is our best strategy for capping uh, on this top spawn. And then everybody just rotates back and we go for another uh, cap. Now on this side, um, I think that the other team is also going to leave garage open. Though most people will send somebody uh, to... Well, hold on, scratch that for a minute. If we can do this, if we're playing a bad team and we think we can get maybe three or four caps on them a game... If these two subs are absolutely causing chaos and the AR that uh, this AR keeps going up against over here or middle is not good, this AR player will say push, push, push. If they go two or three down, this that AR player, the better AR player, is going to come here. Now, he can either wait for a spawn here or if they all went down, he can come right here. So this, we're going for a spawn trap right here. They're going to come out of cafe, and he's just going to light them up right here. This is going to be his job. Because you've got your better AR player in a position to uh, get a lot of kills right here. And to let those subs just run back and forth and pick up kills. Now if he says this, that defender can move up here. Because now, with the police car being covered, Brickside is covered. Nobody's going to get through there unless he goes down. And if he does, you've got plenty of time to rotate back. But this guy has got to watch middle now. So his responsibility is anybody that comes from middle and kills the subs to get back here. And the subs will most likely spawn back blue since we've got them pushed all the way back there. So they can just rush blue as many times as they want. Um, as far as this side goes, defensive guy. Got to be checking middle here. But... We also, I think we need to run one sub and one AR on both sides. So you need to have uh, your secondary AR player right here helping this sub push up blue side. But you just need to defend blue. You don't want people rushing you in blue. But you'll have help through the sub that's rushing middle. Now the sub that's rushing middle is going to follow the AR in, help him in any gun battles that are in blue, and then go straight to the graveyard. He's going to run this route do a little jump shot here take out their AR player if there's somebody here don't worry about them unless they see you for sure because you are going to uh, you're gonna rush flag like you are gonna be right here to help uh, cat or go into garage and help cat now this team over here now if we can win two gun battles right off the start we're going to get a cap because this is a great setup. If we can run the, a the SMG player inside here and get up close to help out this AR player going outside, who's going to be right here to check in his spots, if we can beat their AR player out of here and uh, beat an SMG here, um, we're going to get this flag cut. The SMG is going to run all the way around and pull back this side. He's going to pull outside uh, garage. And this AR player is going to set up Check right your timeline. He's going to be looking for their, their AR players defending. Now after we get that pull, SMG runs graveyard for cutoff. This AR um, runs top here and watches back. So now with that AR in blue, we have that covered. We have graveyard cut off with a sub. And we have this guy cut off. And then even further rotation is... Uh, coming back here and I'm watching these right here as both the AR players can drop back. Let me know what you guys think. Stand down, it's a draw. 
I think this is going to be huge for us. Half time. Capture the coming games.